What if I told you that the Galaxy S26 Ultra might ditch its iconic S Pen slot just to pack a battery so massive it could rival some laptops? Sounds crazy, right? Well, that's just one of the many wild changes Samsung might be cooking up. And no, we're not talking about some distant concept phone. This is the next-gen flagship already whispering its way through the tech world, and those whispers are turning into roars. Welcome back, viewers. Sam here. Don't forget to like the video, share it with your fellow tech heads, and smash that subscribe button for more juicy updates just like this. So here's the deal. Qualcomm is reportedly planning to announce its Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 chip early, like September early. That's a full month ahead of their usual October timeline. Why the rush? One word, MediaTek. Their Dimensity 9500 is gunning for the spotlight, and Qualcomm doesn't want to play catch up again like they did last year. And here's where it gets wild. Both chips are being built on TSMC's bleeding edge 3 nanometers process, meaning they're smaller, faster, and more power efficient than anything we've seen before. It's a silicon showdown, and Qualcomm is trying to land the first punch. But Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 isn't just arriving early, it's arriving strong. Rumors say it's rocking Pegasus CPU cores clocking up to 5 GHz, paired with the next-gen Adreno 840 GPU. Translation? Smoother gameplay, faster app launches, and maybe even console-level graphics in your pocket. Plus, it's bringing LPDDR6 RAM support and a monster 32 MB L2K cache. This isn't just an upgrade, it's an overhaul. Now here's where Samsung steps in. You might remember they went all-in on Snapdragon for the S25 series. Exynos was completely benched, but that might change. Insiders say Samsung's finally cracked the code on their 3 nanometers chip yields, now hitting around 40%. Not perfect, but a big leap forward. If they can keep it up, the Exynos 2600 could make a triumphant comeback in the Galaxy S26 series. Or maybe not. Because rumors also say Samsung is collaborating with Qualcomm on two custom Snapdragon variants, tuned exclusively for Galaxy phones. Imagine a chip built by Qualcomm, fine-tuned by Samsung, and manufactured in Samsung's own fabs. It's like baking your own cake with someone else's secret recipe. And Samsung's already lining up about 1,000 wafers to produce these custom chips. Doesn't sound like much? That's because it's not about quantity. It's about quality. Every single chip needs to meet flagship-level performance, and that's a tightrope walk with such advanced tech. So how does this play out for the Galaxy S26? If the whispers are true, the Ultra model will ship globally with the elite Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, no Exynos in sight. But in other regions, like Europe and parts of Asia, the base S26 and S26 Plus could come with the revived Exynos 2600. It's a mixed bag, but the Ultra, it's going full Snapdragon. Everywhere. Now let's talk battery drama. For years, Galaxy Ultra fans have been stuck with the same old 5000 mAh battery. Reliable, sure, but come on, it's 2025. Where's the innovation? Well, get ready. Samsung might remove the S Pen slot to make room for a massive 7000 mAh battery. And with new silicon carbon tech on the table, that dream might just become reality. And don't worry, they're not killing the S Pen. Rumor has it, the stylus will now magnetically attach to the side of the phone, a la iPad Pro. Sleek, accessible, and still right there when you need it. But wait, there's more. The S26 Ultra might pack a variable aperture main camera, making room for a bigger battery by eliminating one of the telephoto lenses. Combine that with whispers of a 324 MP main sensor and a 200 MP telephoto, and you're looking at photography that could rival professional gear. As for design, expect bezels so razor thin, the display could look almost edge to edge. Some concept renders even tease an under display camera, though that might be a stretch this time around. The punch hole might stick around for now, but the bezels, practically gone. And just to top it all off, Samsung may launch the Galaxy S26 lineup in December 2025, with global availability in January 2026. That means two Galaxy flagships, the S25 and S26, could hit pre-orders in the same year. A bold strategy possibly aimed at keeping up with Apple's iPhone 17 launch window. And honestly, it might just work. So here's the big question. Will the Galaxy S26 Ultra finally be the no-compromise flagship we've been waiting for? Bigger battery, smarter chip, slicker design, it has the blueprint for greatness, but execution is everything. What do you think? Is this the year Samsung reclaims the crown, or are we in for another round of deja vu? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I want to hear from you. Until next time, keep your devices charged, your hype levels high, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.